Hey guys, how you doing? Hope you're doing okay. We're actually going to look at two articles involving or in regards to the same tragic incident. Um, I'll give a trigger warning. This is pretty gruesome. It involves the murder of a man um, burnt to death. So the uh, the rough story is that a crazy woman, an ex-lover, um, broke into a house poured petrol in and around the house, set it on fire. A man, 33 years of age, Stanley Obi, uh, was initially taken to hospital with 90 burns, sorry, with burns to 90% of his body. He subsequently died. Um, and the woman, the culprit, and we have a picture of the culprit as well. Here she is. They were They were lovers before. Here she is. Her name is Sarah Mudge, 31 years of age. She died too. In the blaze. If I understand. Thankfully, I think I'm right in saying, and we'll just double check by rereading re through the article I have read, but I do forget these things. Uh, the other children are fine. Those, the only two died. Stanley Obi, 33 years of age, and then the culprit, 31 years of age, Sarah Mudge. Um, Stanley was a hero. We're going to read uh, why, how, in a moment. But what an absolute tragedy! So we're going to look at both articles, but we'll start with this first one. An ex-girlfriend has died after she stormed her former lover's home, doused the place in petrol, and set him and his new partner on fire. Police allege the woman, 31 years of age, broke into her ex-boyfriend Stanley Obi's house in New Beef, near Logan in Brisbane's southern suburbs, uh, at 2.55 a.m. on Thursday. The woman, who has not been formally identified, uh, she has now, she's been formally identified now, so we'll see that in a moment. Uh, so the woman died in the blaze. Stanley Obi, 33 years of age, was taken to Royal Brisbane Hospital with 90% burns to his body. Uh, with burns to 90% of his body. Officers who arrived on the scene had to hose him down. It is understood he may not survive and is in severe pain. And the following article informs us that he has died. We can watch a video, so a trigger warning if this is going to upset anybody. When they arrived here to this relatively new home, they found that it was fully ablaze, the ceiling had collapsed, and inside one person found dead. In addition, another man was taken to hospital with very serious burns, we understand, to 90% of his body, and another female was also taken to hospital with suspected airway burns as well. There were three children inside the home at the time, they were additionally taken to hospital, but that was more of a precautionary measure. So Looks like multiple houses caught fire, um, but injuries and death only occurred in the one. Stanley Obi's current girlfriend, 30 years of age, and three children, aged five, three, and two, escape the residence without injury. They have been taken to the Royal Brisbane Hospital for observation. During a press conference on Thursday morning, police said that Stanley Obi and his partner had lived in the house for about six months. Detectives are yet to interview the surviving woman and have appealed to the public for information. So the surviving woman being uh, his current partner, his current girlfriend or such. One resident said fire trucks and police sirens woke him up at 3 a.m. Here's a quote. You could see the fire from my house uh, easily 10 metres high. Uh, a spokesman from Queensland Fire and Emergency Services told the Daily Mail that the property was well engulfed when four crews arrived on the scene. There was a partial roof collapse. Firefighters spent more than two hours trying to douse the flames. A crime scene has been declared at the scene and a forensic investigation is underway. So this is the first article which tells us what happened. Um, 
and there's the blaze the second article is going to give us more information there's stanley murdered at the hands of his ex-girlfriend so we're going to have a, a look at uh, the second article which will give us some more information and will tell us about stanley's heroic act a father burned alive in his bed by a jilted ex bravely managed to save his child sleeping next to him before being engulfed in flames. Stanley Obi, 33 years of age, didn't plan on seeing Sarah Mudge again after they spent the night together after a Christmas party in late 2017 until she told him she was going to have his baby. He was conflicted and did not know what to do, so a friend said. Uh, he held Christian values and he told me that he would not allow a baby to grow up without a father and committed to trying to make a life being a father to his child. Stanley Obi's decision to stay with the photographer, Sarah Mudge, uh, who had a one-year-old son from a previous relationship when they met, before they broke up in late 2020, ultimately ended in his life. Okay, so it's not the best worded uh, paragraph, but it's saying that uh, Stanley's decision to leave the woman, his ex, is partly responsible for uh, his murder. At 2.55am on Thursday morning, the mother of four, Sarah Mudge, broke into the home he shared with his new girlfriend in New Beath in Brisbane's south su southern suburbs, poured fuel all over the couple and set them alight while her children slept in the next room. Stanley Obi managed to take one of his children, who was sleeping next to him at the time, to safety while the flames engulfed him. The friend of Stanley, Mr. Meekin, said that the relationship fell apart because the ex-partner, Sarah Mudge, wanted six more children and gave the St uh, Stanley the option of leaving, claiming he was nothing more than a sperm donor and that he would find a way, uh, that she would find a way to have more kids regardless. The Daily Mail Australia can reveal that Sarah Mudge was actively looking for an African, Polynesian or First Nations sperm donor in June of last year, just months after their relationship ended. In a lengthy social media post, she said she wanted to have even more kids relatively quickly due to her expiring uterus. So Sarah Mudge in her social media posts basically requests potential sperm donors to contact her she says she's a single mama by choice uh, and uh, that's how she wanted it to be she was specifically looking for men of african descent to ensure that her children have similar features the article goes on to tell us that this crazy lunatic woman sarah mudge died in the blaze while a brave neighbor named al dragged stanley obi's burning body from the wreckage he was raced to royal brisbane and uh, brisbane and women's hospital in a critical condition with burns to 90 percent of his body but he sadly died just before 10 p.m on thursday leaving their two little girls orphaned and her other two kids without a mum. Stanley's new girlfriend, 30 years of age, managed to escape the burning home with the kids, aged 5, 3 and 2. Which I'm going to say is quite miraculous. Uh, the previous article told us that Sarah Mudge, this crazed ex, uh, poured petrol on, on both of them, uh, Stanley and the uh the the new girlfriend um so it's a miracle that she was able to get away safe uh, i think uh you know she had to be checked up at a hospital i think they mentioned a, a minor injury 
but uh, nothing severe. And of course, that the three children were safe. One of one of whom was saved really by Stanley's actions, whilst he was engulfed in flames. You know, a truly selfless act. Uh, I would think. Um, literally engulfed in flames, yet prioritizing protecting the children. The friend of Stanley explained that Stanley quit his job to start a life with this uh, crazy ex-partner lunatic, but things started falling apart when she said she wanted six more children. Stanley refused to have eight children, stating that he would not have children that he could not afford to support, and refused to bring children into the world to raise them on welfare. A friend of Sarah Mudge, who didn't want to be identified, confirmed to the Daily Mail Australia that all the 30-year-old woman wanted was a tribe of children, and that she must have been at the point of no return to kill Stanley. Uh, here's a quote from Sarah's friend. Sarah grew up as an only child and didn't want that for her kids. Her hold was uh, her whole world was the children. She wanted to homeschool. She wanted to introduce them to growing their own food. She wanted them to have some land, look after goats, cows, whatever animals needed a home. Um, so apparently, Sarah Mudge loved her kids. According to the friend, and I'm sure the friend is uh, well-meaning, but I have to say she didn't, I don't know, but what am I going to say? She didn't care enough uh, for her children to ensure that they didn't become orphans. She didn't care that for that, but I mean, to me, I'm shaking my head at this point. This... Uh, You know, this woman, Sarah Mudge, is a crazed lunatic. That's that's how I would uh, perceive it to be. I mean, apparently she's posting uh, all lovey-dovey kind of stuff on social media, Facebook. Um, proud that she's done some homeschooling. Talking about her children endlessly. But uh, isn't it all just a mask when she's seemingly harboring murderous thoughts i mean she literally poured petrol on her ex-partner and the ex-partner's new girlfriend poured petrol all over them whilst other kids whilst their kids were in the home and she set fire to the to her ex-partner um, i'm gonna wrap things up here it is a tragedy uh, perhaps there'll be more details that come out um what an absolute fucking tragedy pardon my french um obviously we don't know stanley maybe you do know stanley maybe uh, you're a, a family a friend a neighbor uh, a member of the community new beef um we wish you the best he seems like a nice guy you know just like you know just uh, in the photograph he seems like a nice guy but from what's been stated by the friend um the friend of his that uh, he's well intentioned trying to create a good life for himself and his children seems like a, a good upstanding guy and tragically his life has been taken away from him in a in a horrendous way again such a blessing that the new partner uh, whose name has been withheld of course for security privacy reasons um, such a blessing that uh, she is safe and that the three children are safe. Um, but, you know, what, what an absolute tragedy. Uh, I believe there is a GoFundMe. I saw a mention of um, some donation facility. I can't seem to find that. Can't seem to find a link to the gofundme or such uh, but uh, perhaps you'll be able to look for that so i'm going to wrap things up here again um, commiserations to the family concerned we, we hope we pray we wish all the best for the for stanley's new partner um, and all of the children concerned um, and uh, you know 
I'll just leave things at, at that. Thanks.